Ohana. Both of Toe Ohana indeed are starting as a Zerg at the top left from Kespa's eighth team. This guy is quite well known. He's represented Korea several times. He is. Ace team, JD. Here we have Jadong, and he is down a map. He is up against the channel player for Team Fnatic. To the bottom right in blue, we have the one and only Fnatic alive. Up a game in this series. Not looking shy, nervous, just playing very textbook in the game number one. A unique, fast third command center built that he was not uh, punished for. And then Jadong played a great mid game, got the Infestors out, used them well. Other than the Alive's aggression was too much for him. And we have a slightly forward barracks to start things off here. May two racks, and this is not going to be proxied, but this can be very aggressive. This is something that Jadong is going to have to be careful about. He's sending out another SV as we speak, and there it is. He's going for the aggression here, but he will be spotted fairly soon. There's the barracks number two. Jadong on the move with his drone. He will spot this immediately. Starts off with a hatch first nonetheless, and he will still be able to hold this. Very important to have the scouting information, though, to know that your opponent is at least has the potential to attack you with exactly. Marines early on. He's not going to make any extra... Well, I guess that's fine. <laughs> He's not going to make any extra drones, gets a spawning pool right away. And, and uh, this is not a proxy 2-rack, so as long as he reacts quickly with his drones against the first bunkers that may come up, he's got the Overlord to spot at the natural as well. Should be totally fine against this, but the follow-up is going to be the concern. Will Alive actually go for a 4-barracks follow-up? Will he make another command center at all? Will he pull all of his SCVs? These are things that Jadong is now wondering about, so he's going to have to be the one making the perfect reactions and the perfect calls here. The important thing for Jadong is that he needs to know, okay, I can't cut any corners. It's not like I can get, take my gas earlier that I can squeeze in a few additional drones. I have to start with my spawning pool immediately, which he did. So he will be fine to defend against this. I would be very surprised if Alive would commit too much to this attack in the beginning and if Jadong would falter. Of course, Alive tries to bait out more units now. He does not want Jadong to focus on the drone production. He wants him to get circlings and he wants to do some damage. But I would be very surprised if Jadong does not know how to handle this situation. Yeah. I don't think Alive's even going to start a bunker. I think he's actually maybe going to cancel one a Marine or two to get a faster command center up now. This is a very aggressive way of doing this. He's trying to kill the Overlord Scout, which Jadong is actually nice pulled away already and this is important because the live now can no longer four racks off of one base without him knowing about it he's going to be able to get into the main and so even if he wanted to four racks he can't do it now it's going to be known that there's no command center this is something that Jadong sees right now already as well very important is also the gas that he's currently taking. So with the gas he will get speed and speed is very important if you deal with the marine aggression because the marines off creep cannot kite you anymore, you can chase them down. This gives a lot more additional options for Jadong when he comes down to the defense. And alive, well he started things off with his double barracks and if there was no scout then he might have decided depending on his scouting information to maybe take a shot at Jadong. Uh, trying to take him down, but thus far he just falls back onto his command center, he lost a little bit of time, but that's fine here, and uh, yeah, I, I like this. So, this is once again headed to a little bit of a longer game. Yeah. Uh, I, I like the position for Alive though, he's doing such a great job all over the map, both players are. Now Alive knows that Jaden likes to split his links into small different directions, this is why he's sending groups of two marines all over the map, because two marines will always kill two links at least, and will definitely get one. And so he's doing the same thing he did last game on Antigua Shipper, trying to find Overlords, trying to find Lings. He finds an Overlord now. This is so important. This is actually going to supply block Jadong. Yeah, this is actually really nice. This is really, really cool for him. Boom, there we go. And one if he baits all down. the Lings into one location, he's actually got a reinforcement group of Marines coming through here. He's going to go in between the Minerals as well. This is great for Alive. If he can get in between those Minerals, and he does. Yes, he does. He's not able to take down the second Overlord, though. But this doesn't really matter all that much. Killing the Zerklings is so nice for him. A great position for him to be in, really using the terrain to his advantage. And he's going to trap the last of these Lings. This is really important as well. And actually, Jadon didn't make a Spine. He's got no Spine core up. This actually could could do damage to him. He's making 12 links right now. He's he getting lose Zerg links and he's getting the SCVs. The Queens have to be careful here, but uh, I think he can buy it out the time that he needs. We'll see how well he micros these Queens. Pulling uh -oh. him back right away. He's going to lose one, yes. probably. 
There's nowhere left to run, but the Lynx pop out just in time. But he has a lot of he has a lot of Marines if he can get into a good position. Oh, and he's starting to getting in the corner here. Speed is not done yet. Speed is not done yet. And this is a lot of mining time lost and a lot of minerals as well. He's trading very cost efficient. Kills the Queen, kills more Zerglings alive with a very, very aggressive push And the here. Queen is stuck! Oh, he saves at 12.7! Eight Whoa. saves the Queen. <laughs> that was really close. But it was so worth it. That was so worth it. It's not only about the resources lost here, but losing the Queen, losing the Zerglings, the Lava, of course, and the mining time. Great attack here by Alive, even though he's down in overall supply. He's Imagine if he kills the second here. Queen even. That's so much Injex lost. Look at this production tab. Look what he's building. Yeah, 10 more Lings and he's got 11 Bane Lings getting ready. Jadon no, no, is going for the attack. Three additional uh, barracks now. He's yeah. going up to five barracks immediately. And the bunkers. The he knows what's going on here. Yeah. I don't think this is going to work at all, <laughs> to be quite frank. With the bunkers that we have, they should be ready and I would be really... Well, let's see. That is going to do some damage. Here come the Bane Lings. They move in. Bunker number one is ready. The second one, not just yet. He doesn't even break through. He blocks himself. The repair is a bit too late. There are not a lot of Bane Lings left and he focuses them down. This bunker is going to be repaired. And he can take down a few. No, not even the SCV style because alive, he target fires the Banelings. And this was horrible for Jadon. Yeah, now he's got basically no... Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Triple the resources lost. He's got 33 drones, the 37 SCVs with a third orbital out. He rewalls. And it looks like he's going to go for another attack. I mean, he doesn't have much other choice. He's making 20 more lings. He's going to put him up to a total of 44. He's probably going to make maybe 15 to 20 bane lings. But Alive's not salvaging his bunkers. That's, that's kind of what Jadong is having to rely on right now. And he, he knows I'm that with a fast third command center, he doesn't need to salvage. He doesn't need those minerals. He's he just going to play things safe here. He cannot go for another attack. That would be suicide. Well, he's doing it. He's got 44 lings on the map. I mean, if he doesn't, he's going to be. it's also going to be suicide. He sacrificed so many lava now in his uh, in his army. He's not getting any additional. Well, now he's getting harvesters. But this army, I mean, what do you want to do at this point? If you want to break through, then you have to rely on a lot of banelings. You need the gas, and you cannot just attack into this. And as you already said, if you really want to pull off another baneling attack, you are relying on uh, the assumption that your or, uh, the hope that your opponent salvaged every single bunker that you have, which is definitely not the case. He's going for double evolution yeah. chamber now. This costs a lot of gas to get the upgrades. So the links are just dead supply on the map. Yeah, they really are. I mean, he did go and check smartly to see if the bunkers were still there. They were. So he was like, all right, no bane links being made here. But I think he should have made that choice before committing 22 larvae to all these links. Now he's still behind in workers, alive in a great position economically. Third command center, and the third hatchery is just being made for Jadong. Yeah, he's got double upgrades going, but Alive also already had his double upgrade starting, so Jadong now in an uncomfortable position. He may have to take another risk here to get ahead, and or either that or hope for Alive to make a big mistake, because right now Jadong's got 44 deadlings on the map, like you said, not able to do anything. Alive's powering up more barracks, getting that factory going. I'm really scared for Jadong. He's going for the lair tech, but what he needs is time. And I'm not quite sure if Alive is still willing to give him this time. He's going for this huge bio army. Stim is nearly done. We have now a concussive shell. He's moving out. He, the upgrades are lined up to the starport. He doesn't even have to, do, need to wait for Medivex. He has this wall and everything and now he moves out onto the map. He has to be careful that there's no run by. But he can attack with this with a good Stim use with the spread of his marines, even Banelings won't hurt him too much. There are 16 Banelings morphing now, and I think they're actually to, are they to the left side of the map? No, no. that's just the run by that he has, so yeah, he really needs them for defense. Exactly, and he's going to have them on creep, but Baneling speed is oh. of course not even started. He's going for a counterattack, but there's a wall set up still. And he spots it with the Zalnaga Watchtower, of course. Oh, this is not good. He's going to lose some of these links, but it's buying him time. This is what he needs so desperately. This is what you mentioned. You know, Alive's not really willing to give him time. That's why Jalen's oh, trying to force this year. He needs time for an infestation pit or something along those lines, and that's just too much. He's going for roach speed here, but he's got a total of zero roaches on the map right and now. Why would you go roaches when you already know that your opponent has quite a few marauders in his composition? It's an interesting choice, to say the least. He's going to send a few units forward here. Jadon traps some, but he loses a lot in the process. That was not a utilitarian attempt. He needs the speed for the Banelings now. Speed for Banelings, of course. Infestation would be great, but he can't afford it. And here comes the attack. This won't work. There come the Banelings. The Marauders are willing to take the damage. A nice split so far. And even though he takes down most of these units, this was not really cost efficient. 
When we look at the resources lost, we have 5,300 lost for Jadong, only 2,700 for his opponent. Yeah, it's twice It's twice the, the resource and loss. the bank for Alive, they, yes, they are even in supply, but the tech and the bank that Alive has is just crazy. And now he's got all the reactors powered up. That's why he had that bank. Now he's making 12 Marines at a time. And he, he had that bank because he had to wait for all those reactors yeah. finished. Now they're done. And now he's making units. And Jadong's making roaches right now. They will have roach speed. He's getting plus two carapace right now. But this is a weird composition to go. Especially considering that he's behind. There are so many units queued up for life. If he waits for this force to assemble and then strikes, I'm not quite sure how Jadon plans on defending against it. The Roaches have also been spotted, but Marines and Marauders with this composition and now also the support with the Medivacs. This is so dangerous for Jadon. Here oh, comes the he army. Can't. He's getting caught with some concussive shells here. He cannot retreat with all of his Roaches. He he's forces trying to get away. Stem, yeah. But I mean, this is just great for Alive. Alive is moving out now, and his army supply is 74 against 69. But the upgrades and everything that he has, Jadong will be ahead in upgrades at some point if Alive gives him the time, because he's already researching plus two, plus two. But the Terran player for Fnatic, he forces back the creep, and he will force the issue here. This army is so strong. MMM, Medivex, Marines, Marauders. Yeah. No banelings. No banelings. Uh, well, actually 20 in total, but not here. Yeah, here not they here. come. Here they come. And he's just got so many Marauders in the mix, especially since he spotted the Roaches earlier. He leaves the Marauders standing still, pulls the Marines back, splits them against the banelings. So cost efficient here is Alive. Plus two Carap is not done yet. Alive's whole army was not together, but here it comes. Here comes the rest of his army. Indeed, the reinforcements and his production is still going strong. Army supply is 65 to 65, both of them even. Alive is now the third base though, and he starts his drop play. He prepares here. Jadong can, uh, is at par with him at this point in time, but the tech is just something that he doesn't have. In, there we go. Yeah, there it is. And no, that's that's exactly the issue here. But if, if he can hold pit. this, if he can actually get the infestation pit, get a few infestors out, he may be able to get himself back into this. Alive is not fought with his army together several times in a row. Now he's down in upgrades. The upgrades of Jadong are better. A great split here, though, and the Banelings do connect at least a little bit. But look at the splitting from Alive. With all the Medivacs here, it's just too much. Jadong cannot retreat again because of concussive shells, losing a lot of roaches. Jadong is forced back. He's ahead in upgrades. GG! The main.